Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive, the Warren County Family and Consumer Sciences agent, and today you are going to see a few clips from the Mammoth Cave Area Homemaker Leader Lesson. The Family and Consumer Sciences agents and the surrounding counties gathered together to film a charcuterie board lesson to take back to their homemakers. The homemakers will then take the information they receive to their clubs and share that information. We had a great time filming and even sampled a few of our boards after. Hope you enjoy. Hi, and welcome to the Mammoth Cave Area November Homemaker Leader Lesson. Today, we are going to be showing you a variety of boards that we have assembled for you. Today, I am going to show you how I prepared a charcuterie for two board. Sometimes you may find yourself with a smaller party, but still wanting to have a special board to assemble. So I started off with a slice of brie cheese I found in the specialty cheese aisle of my uh, grocery store. Brie is a smooth and nutty uh, cheese that is very nice to be paired with a warm crusty bread or a fruity jam. Right here I have a honey fig jam that I found in uh, my specialty jam aisle. And then over here I have some dried apples. On our charcuterie uh, board cheese basic sheet, you can get some ideas for things that you can add in your board. Dried fruit is something that we do tend to see in the charcuterie board trend. So these dried apples are going to be a really nice treat. Then I have some cream cheese with some raspberry pepper jelly. I love pepper jelly. I have a cute little uh, pumpkin spoon to serve with that cream cheese. And next to that, I have a multi-grain seeded cracker. And over here for my brie cheese, I found this bag of mini sliced French loaf bread in my bakery section. So I didn't even have to prepare that. That was just something simple I was able to purchase. And then right here I have some cashews. Macadamia nuts pair really nicely with most charcuterie boards. Um, I couldn't find any, but cashews are gonna be a great touch. And then finally over here I have some kosher petite dill pickles. I like a more savory pickle, but you could definitely add in something sweet. Hi, for our second board that we're gonna show you on this video, I have prepared for you a build your own parfait charcuterie board. And what I've included here, you can see a variety of different um, kinds of yogurt. I have included a couple of flavors of Greek yogurt as well as just a simple um, regular yogurt just for those people that may not like the Greek. Um, and then I have included a complete variety of different kinds of toppings that you might prefer on your parfait. I have included some strawberries, some blueberries, and some raspberries for fruit. And I did try to place those on the board um, close to the um, yogurt that it complements. This is my strawberry yogurt, so I have put the strawberries on this side. I've also taken a couple of slices and just stuck in the top of my uh, yogurt just to indicate that that is that flavor of yogurt. In addition to the fruit, I have included your traditional granola here, as well as a chocolate flavored granola here in the back. Um, I've also included uh, some dried fruit. Here's some dried coconut and some dried apricots in the center, as well as some dried cranberries. And then this up here is a mix of the dried cranberries and some golden raisins. And then lastly, back here, I have a blend of uh, fruit and nut uh, trail mix that you can just get um, in, your, in your trail mix aisle at the grocery store, as well as some honey for anyone that might want to include a little bit of honey in with their yogurt. Um, all of these ingredients are available in your local grocery store. Um, and really it is just whatever preferences you would want to include on your Build Your Own Parfait board. For more information on charcuterie boards, or if you're interested in joining a homemaker club near you, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.